Hare Krishna dear devotees and welcome pranam to all So today we are reading from the book Easy Journey to Other Planets written by His Divine Grace AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada So we are continuing with the second chapter Varieties of Planetary Systems from page number 61 The duration of life on the moon according to the Vedic information is 10000 years and one day there is equal to 6 months here thus 10000 multiplied by 180 years is the duration of life on the moon however it is impossible for the earthen man to go to the moon and live there for very long otherwise the whole vedic literature will be false we can attempt to go there but it is not possible to live there this knowledge is in the vedas therefore we are not very eager to go to this planet or that planet we are eager to go directly to the planet where krishna lives krishna states in bhagavad gita 9.25 ियसनेसन ensures that the student ultimately can go to the supreme planet krishna lok we are not sitting idly we are also attempting to go to other planets but we are not merely wasting time a sane and intelligent man does not wish to enter any of the material planets because the four conditions of material miseries exist on all of them from bhagavad gita we can understand that even if we enter brahma lok the highest planetary system of this universe the four principles of miseries will be present we learn from bhagavad gita that the duration of one day on brahma loka is millions of years of calculation and that is a fact even the highest planetary system brahma loka may be reached but scientists say that it will take 40000 years at sputnik speed who is prepared to travel in space for 40000 years from the vedic literature we can understand that we can enter any of the planets provided we prepare for that purpose if one prepares himself to enter into the higher planetary systems which are said to be inhabited by demigods he can go there similarly one can go to a lower planetary system or if one desires he can remain on this planet finally if one desires he can enter the planet of the supreme personality of godhead it is all a matter of preparation however all planetary systems within our material universe are temporary the duration of life on certain material planets may be very long but all living entities in the material universe are eventually subject to annihilation and have to again develop other bodies there are different types of bodies a human body exists for 100 years whereas an insect body may exist for 12 hours thus the duration of these different bodies is relative if one enters the planet called vaikuntha loka the spiritual planet however he then achieves eternal life full of bliss and knowledge a human being can attain that perfection if he tries that is stated in bhagavad gita when the lord says anyone who knows in truth about the supreme personality of godhead can attain to my nature many people claim god is great but this is a hackneyed phrase one must know how he is great and that can be known from authorized scriptures in the bhagavad gita god describes himself he says my appearance of taking birth just like an ordinary human being is actually transcendental god is so kind that he comes before us just as an ordinary human being but his body is not like a human being those rascals who do not know about him think that krishna is like one of us that is also stated in bhagavad gita 9.11 ava jananti ma mudha manushinta anumashritam परम भाव अजानो मम भूत महेशर फूल्स डिराइड मी वेन आई डिसेंट इन द ह्यूमन फॉर्म दे डू नॉट नो माई ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेचर एंड माई सुप्रीम डॉमिनियन ओ ऑल दैट बी वी हैव अ चांस टू नो अबाउट कृष्णा प्रोवाइडेड वी रीड द राइट लिटरेचर अंडर द राइट डायरेक्शन एंड इफ वी सिंपली नो वॉट द नेचर ऑफ गॉड इज देन बाई अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस वन फैक्ट अलोन वी कैन बिकम लिबरेटेड it is not possible in our human condition to understand the absolute personality of godhead completely but with the help of bhagavad gita the statements given by the supreme personality of godhead and of the spiritual master we can know him to the best of our capacity 
if we can know him in reality then immediately after leaving this body we can enter into the kingdom of god krishna says tyaktva deham punar janma naiti mameti sorjuna after leaving this body one who is in knowledge does not come again to the material world for he enters into the spiritual world and comes to me bhagavad gita 4.9 the purpose of our krishna conscious movement is to propagate this advanced scientific idea to people in general and the process is very simple simply by chanting the holy names of god hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and cleanses the dirt from the heart and gains understanding that he is a part and parcel of the supreme lord and that it is his duty to serve him this process is very pleasant we chant the hare krishna maha mantra we dance rhythmically and we eat nice prasad while enjoying this life we are preparing to enter into the kingdom of god in our next life this is not a fabrication it is all factual although to a layman this appears to be a fabrication krishna reveals himself from within to one who is very serious about god realization both krishna and the spiritual master help the sincere soul the spiritual master is the external manifestation of god who is situated in everyone's heart as super soul for one who is very serious about understanding the supreme personality of godhead super soul immediately renders assistance by directing him to bona fide spiritual master in this way the spiritual candidate is helped from within and without according to bhagavat puran the supreme truth is realized in three stages first there is impersonal brahman or the impersonal absolute then the paramatma or localized aspect of brahman the neutron of an atom may be taken as representation of paramatma who also enters into the atom this is described in the brahma samhita but ultimately the supreme divine being is realized as supreme all attractive person krishna with full and inconceivable potencies of opulence strength fame beauty knowledge and renunciation these six potencies are fully exhibited by shri ram and shri krishna when they descend before human form only a section of human beings who are the unalloyed devotees can recognize krishna on the authority of revealed scriptures but others are bewildered by the influence of material energy the absolute truth is therefore the absolute person and has no equal or competitor the impersonal brahman rays are the rays of his transcendental body just as the sun's rays are emanations from the sun thank you very much hari krishna